latest baby cage setup. So this is a Coco Lodge. Um, it's home currently to five um, nearly six week old baby girls. Um, I thought I'd give you a quick tour. It's um, vaguely naturalistic, um, which means I've tried to use lots of natural materials and such um, just because they do quite enjoy it and it does, is good for them. Right, let's go in a bit. So we have a small digging box back here. This does actually contain mealworms, which will go in there and help keep it clean and the rats can eat too. Um, the supplement here is Dr Squiggles. Um, it's great for vitamin D, calcium, a bit of copper in there for them. There's a bit of calcium in too, um, obviously water bottles. Um, this is great for kind of way of breaching distance, climbing onto it and it moves around, which makes it more interesting for them. Lots of ropes, branches, um, a litter tray at the top up here with some wet food for them. Um, cargo net, that helps stop falls. Um, Tic Tac wheel, that's a 14 inch, so it's quite big. Plenty of branches. And um, that's Mountain Ash Rowan. Sweetheart. Um, we've got a little wooden cave back here filled with dust free hay. That's from Mini Pets. Um, we have a little baby. More kind of climbing things. These all move around. They're meant to be a bit challenging for them. Um, in the cage as well, we have bamboo. Um, interesting texture. Fine for them to eat, but most of the leaves end up dropping off. And two water bottles, which is important in case one fails, though of course they've got the bottle, the bowl too. Um, and a little label which tells me how much I'm feeding and who's in there. Um, really that's more for if anything happens to me so the rats can be fed. Um, I do know all the little babies in here very well. I don't have very many rats to be honest to remember. And yes, there's a basket at the back there which is filled with hay for them to kind of nest in. And it's the first time exploring it so they're enjoying themselves.